Arsenal 2, Bayern Munich 2, and our first quarterfinal in years, in years. First of all, guys, it, it, was, it was just insane to see Arsenal back in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Let us just start there. Thank you, Ateta, for making this happen. Also, it was very weird. We have not considered a goal in street. Nilikuwa naoleza George at IBM say to me consider bow the last time you took you alive. We were live on TikTok, IG and YouTube. Shout out to the guys on YouTube. Karibu, you are amazing. You are with us even since the Japanese GPF1. Alafu Lenny on TikTok. Alikuwa tu kila pal, he was just on it with us throughout the entire stream. So, shout out to those two guys. Um yeah, the last time we considered was Brentford away. Uh, sorry, at home. Um, the game that ended 2-1, Kai Havertz scoring last minute goal. Um, yeah, that was the last time we considered a goal. I don't know if the Porto game was before or after that, but it was a while. So yeah, first of all, seeing us concede a goal, let alone not just one, but two, was extremely weird. Ah yeah, Tumelizane na iyo kwanza. Gabriel, that mistake today for the past, like it was, it was, I, I, I think there's a lot of blame to go around. I can't put it entirely on him, Ju. Amejaribuku, ideally, you'd want to pass it back to Raya and let him clear. But Raya, Ametoka all the way. He's come all the way up. He wants to clear the ball. I'd want to, I'm like, what are you doing up there? But at the same time, he's been assigned to be almost sweeper keeper because we do play a high line at times, right? So he has to be very aware of those scenarios. He didn't know Gabriel would get there before him. And even then, he left it for him, right? I think in that scenario, you just come and clear the ball, right? That's, that's what you'd tell someone to do. But... We want to play out from the back. There's a lot of risk to how we play from certain areas of the field, but if you don't do it, if you're not brave enough, then, I mean, you might as well not even try, you know? Because, yeah, but the thing is, this is the Champions League. Mistakes like those get punished. So then Gabriel sees that Kivior is the better option. To be honest, if you look at how he made that pass, he didn't look like he really did it. Like, he didn't look off until Kivior just went backwards and like, oh, snap. <laughs> then, yeah, the ball just ends up um, we ended up losing the ball. This was the second goal, I think, actually. Um, because the first goal was Sane. Sane was the penalty. Sane just coming from nowhere. We'll even get that. We'll get back to that. So, yeah, obviously, you'd blame Kivior. You can blame Raya. You can blame Gabriel. It's sort of blaming everyone here and there. But it's like, you can't really just say, like, it was one person's fault. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Things happen, right? Um, yeah, so obviously, we lose the ball. Goes back to Bayern. Then... They come at us and um, Nabri ends up scoring, um, coming back to haunt his former team. I really miss Nabri. Like, he's one of those guys who actually, but to be honest, when he left Arsenal, you it, it, it wasn't clear that it was going to be this player, you know. Um, it was sad to see him leave at, uh, to, towards the middle of the second half with an injury. I don't know if he's going to be fit for the second leg. But yeah, the guy got his goal at the Emirates. Um, Sane's goal, that, that, was, that one was now un just wild because... Kivior is trying to, like, I, he's too over-eager, right, in that particular scenario. Again, um, he's been so amazing for us over the last maybe two months, like, really good for us. It was just to that one moment where we made a mistake and, you know, it was capitalized on uh, ruthlessly. Um, Sunny just driving through. And even then, when Sunny is just running through people, Kivior tried holding him, he couldn't. Sunny just disappeared. Running through, Jorginho actually gets a touch on the ball. The problem is, Jorginho's touch on the ball actually puts it on his path as he's running. So, he just aided him. Saliba couldn't do much. Tried going for the tackle and it was just uh, a clear um, foul. Before as the stream was before the stream started in the pre-match, because we don't normally do a pre-match on the live as well on the stream, when you're going through the lineups, I said, I don't know why I have a feeling Harry Kane will score a penalty. And it's always on that same side of the Emirates. Like, this dude... But yeah, that penalty was really good. Can't really fault him for much for that. Um, actually, the goal, they, the first goal they scored, the Nabri goal, it was his press. His press is what actually made us. Because I was like, why is Hurricane pressing like this? He's pressing in a dumb way. But if it wasn't for him actually going up and really trying to get the ball, like the press actually caused the mistake. Uh, the the pressure on Gabriel and yeah. So all round, yeah, I think Hurricane had a solid game. Actually, he tracked back as well for his team for his team. Um, trying to defend from the front, you know, so, yeah. Um, and, yeah, those are the two mistakes where we considered. Things that we did well, Saka's goal was really dope. Like, he took that finish really nicely, even though the, there was a bit of, uh, there's an element of luck of how the ball got to him. Got the, took the touch first time, bottom corner, sent the Emirates to the real, the delirium, delirium. Eh, hey, kingereza Um yeah, Saka was 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 solid on that wing as well. Havertz was, was always just causing trouble at the back for those guys. But there's one thing you can see, like from 
if you compare this opposition to who we've been playing, like there's a very clear difference in 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 pace, um, attacking speed, the bravery. Like the, these guys have been playing badly in Bundesliga, but when it comes to the Champions League, it's like they are a different beast, and they also have that element of like ah, we've beaten this team before. I know it's not the same players, but there's an element of arrogance, like good arrogance. It's like we are Bayern. We are six-time champions of the Champions League. Like we can go anywhere and win, yeah. Regardless of having poor form. So, um, again, for us, we're also fighting against the weight of history, you know. Um, then obviously, halftime, Kivio was taken off for Zinchenko, which was a risk that I feel like we needed to take because Kivio doesn't offer that much going forward, and I feel like we needed to cause more troubles from that wing. So, by Zinchenko coming in, inverting a lot, he caused more problems for them. We were a bit more dynamic in our attack. And Zinchenko also made one mistake where which led to a counter, but they didn't score. Um <coughs> but yeah, I think it was it was a risk that was worth it. Um obviously the two subs that came on Trossard and Jesus changed a lot. They just brought a lot of energy. Um <coughs> uh, Ateta caught me a bit off guard by taking off. I knew you take off Jorginho, but I thought he'd bring in party for that um, at that moment. But he didn't. He brought on Jesus and brought on Trossard. So Jesus came on for for Jorginho. And then Trossard came on for Martinelli. Martinelli was not as effective because I felt like <coughs> if there was one place we were going to attack, it was going to be Kimmich's wing, you know. Um, but that just shows you like how experience sometimes can work in your favor. Like that guy is too experienced. You just you're not just going to catch him off guard. Um, yeah, uh, Martinelli was quite quiet today. Um, they also Ban didn't leave any space for him. They were like, we're not going to leave space for you. When he got the ball, you'd see two defenders and one just lacking, doing like roaming like a a free safety in NFL. That's more of like. <coughs> hey, why is my throat acting up? So, like, when other people are defending, there's, like, a defender who's just roaming. In case that person is passed, is the one covering, right? So, that's what we call a free safety. He was, he was, um, I think they gave, Goretzka did that job quite well, actually. Um, we didn't cause Dyer a lot of problems at the back, which I think we'd regret. Um, but, yeah, Jesus came on. He went down the middle. That was also something that was a surprise because you'd think he'd go to the left and leave Havertz up front. Havertz was brought into midfield. This is the versatility that we love to see. A coach like Ateta being in the quarterfinal of a Champions League and he's like, okay, I'm going to change this up. You're so used to seeing certain substitution patterns, but when they happen, the way the people play on the field is completely different. And that unpredictability is something that you need. And I feel like he's been really trying to build this over years. And this, this is a very good, big, a very big part of his vision just coming to fruition, you know. Anyway, Jesus' assist was just wild. On the stream, I was like, this guy needs to stop being Brazilian sometimes. Like, just pass the ball. But his Brazilianness created havoc and actually created that goal and Trossard scored. Um, now, to the elephant in the room, we need to talk about this referee. Like, even, I, I okay, there's the obvious one, which is the soccer penalty. Like, how is that not a penalty, right? Like, I want that one, you will see it over and over again throughout social media this entire weekend, yeah, or through this entire week. But the fact that um, I live and go against Arsenal a bit, like the Gabriel one, the ref actually blows the whistle. Like you guys start at the back. Then <laughs> Raya plays the ball to, Salib, to Gabriel. Gabriel holds it with his hand and puts it down. And he's like, and the worst part is uh, if you watch um, Tuchel's uh, interview, he says the ref told him, oh, it was a school by mistake. It was just a mistake. Like, don't, like, it was just an error. I'm like, dude, this, these are professional footballers. This is the Champions League quarterfinal. Like, you cannot say that. Like, if it's a, if his handle is handled, it's a penalty or indirect free kick, whatever it may be. I don't even know what the rules are. We're trying to figure out what the rule is in that scenario. But, yeah, if it's a penalty, it's a penalty. If it's an indirect, indirect, you give it. You don't say it was, you know, like, that. that is such, like, I don't understand how this guy ref this game. Obviously, there's the obvious, obvious, obvious penalty where this guy just... Noya just comes and just, like, literally on the knee. Like, it's not even hiding. It, it's very obvious. The fact that it only goes to VR for, like, two seconds. Like, like, it doesn't even go that long, you know. Like, it was, I'm just in, I'm just shocked. We got a lot of, a lot of decisions, to be honest, that we did not deserve. There were things which were very, very flimsy fouls <laughs> that we were getting. And we did not get a yellow card that entire game. Yet, Bayern actually got two or three yellow cards, which we were making the same challenges that we're not getting the yellow cards, right? So I think at the end of the day, you just want fairness. You want it to be fair across the board, you know? Um, but anyway, 2-2, we'll take it. Um, 
this was never going to be easy. You thought we were going to beat them 5 nil. If we did, it was going to be a bonus. But this is the Champions League quarterfinal. It was never going to be easy. We have to go to the Allianz and actually prove that we belong and we deserve a spot in the semi-final. Um, and for that, yo, me, I'm proud of the boys. I cannot wait for eight days' time. Um, eight days' time, yes, on Wednesday when we will be at the Allianz Arena to take on Bayern Munich for a spot in the semi-finals. And that is Arsenal 2, Bayern Munich 2.